Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm taking a look at Photo AI, which is the new combo app that's coming out pretty soon, sometime this month, from Topaz Labs. It's a combination of Denoise AI, Sharpen AI, and Gigapixel AI all put into one single app, which let me tell you, that's huge. Simply because one of my challenges with the Topaz apps, as good as they are, and they are good, I like them a lot, but Every app is a different app. So if you have a host app, which let's say is Lightroom, most people it is. If you're in Lightroom, you want to denoise, you go to denoise, and then you come back. You want to sharpen, you go to sharpen, you come back. You want to enlarge, go to gigapixel, and you come back. So you have three round trips. It just takes a lot of time. The fact that they have innovated and put these three apps into one is just, I think, huge, and I love that. Now, there's something else I wish they would do, I'll talk about in a minute, but I wanted to walk through Photo AI, kind of give a high-level overview on a couple of different images and show you what I'm seeing. Note that it is in beta, it's not out yet, and if you own the image quality bundle, you can download this from your account as well. I'm not clear yet on how this is gonna work in terms of maintaining the three different apps versus maintaining Photo AI and what the pricing and all that's gonna be. There's a lot of questions, we don't have the answers, but the product is cool, let's take a look. Here it is, I've dropped this architectural image shot years ago, it's kind of a low quality JPEG, a little bit noisy, not super crisp, but I've dropped it in, and as you can see, Photo AI in this upper corner here, it has a section called Autopilot, where it basically goes in and it just detects a subject, it notes whether the subject is in focus, and it talks about the noise level, if it needs to be, um, you know, noise reduction, uh, needs to be applied, and in this case, it does. It says luminance noise is high. It's basically Autopilot. Pilot, right? So it decides for you, which is one of the nice things because having those three different apps, it's often like, well, do I need to do this first? Do I even need to do that at all? Do I need to round trip it and take a look? Not to mention the fact that if you denoise and sharpen those different round trips, you can't compare it at the same time, whereas you can compare noise reduction and sharpening together in this one app, which I just think is great. So um, it's got face recovery. If you take portraits, the noise reduction is applied automatically here. You do have a drop down. Now, note that you don't have all the same options and modes that um, the standalone Denoise AI has, so therefore you don't have quite as much customization. This is truly a bit more of an autopilot kind of thing, which is why I expect it to be kind of maintained as a separate app, but again, we'll see. I can adjust here to, between normal and strong and adjust the strength if I want to. I have sharpening as well, and once you click it, it'll turn it on, and motion blur or lens blur, I believe it defaults to the last one you used, but I can adjust the strength accordingly as well and also I can hover over this you can see it highlights the subject and I can turn this on if I want to sharpen the subject only or sharpen the entire photo in this case architecture let's do the whole thing and by the way it is AI so depending on the power and the strength and how much RAM you have it might take a minute for all the changes to render you can see in the bottom left hand menu it is applying the different edits here and adjusting those before it builds my preview for me and here we go, you can see it's much smoother, the noise looks great, the sharpening looks great. If you look up here, note that every time I move around or zoom in and out, it rebuilds, so I'm not gonna do a lot of that, but I encourage you, especially if you can download this for free because perhaps you own the image quality bundle, I encourage you to do that and experiment if you haven't already. Um, this enhanced section we'll talk about in a minute, and in the bottom it says resize, which is gigapixel, and this is very familiar if you already have gigapixel, where you can just click on the different boxes to enlarge the photo and the pixel dimension will adjust automatically, giving you a much larger image while maintaining image quality. Now Enhance, I haven't seen a huge impact on photos when I use that, but this is something that I hope they explore and hopefully expand in the future. I'll turn it on. You can see natural graphics and low resolution, and this seems to be slightly enhancing the photo. I haven't seen big changes, but what I would love is for Topaz to come in and say, hey, you know what? We've got all this cool technology. We've got a Studio, which has all this cool stuff in it. We've got a Just AI, which is an amazing product. Could you maybe, Topaz, take a Just AI and stick some of that capability in this Enhance? Because as of right now, I'm not seeing a massive difference in Enhance, but I would love, love, all caps kind of love, to have a Just AI. AI in there, so when I click on Enhance, it's really Adjust AI, and it gives me some of those powerful tools and edits that uh, Adjust AI has to apply to an image. That would be great. That's a wish list for me. You know, hey, I'm just uh, I'm just hoping here. They have not said anything to me about what's coming. So as you can see, this image I think looks a whole lot better. It's crisper. It's cleaner. And if I wanted to enlarge it, I could do that quickly and easily. Let me show you another photo example. 
Okay, this one's a portrait, and you can see, once again, autopilot kicks in. So, subjects detected, the image is in focus, the noise level is high. This was 1600 ISO. So, autopilot kicks in, and you can see in the bottom left corner where the kind of calculations are happening, it says it is removing noise. So I've got the before and after here and uh, any noise has been removed. I can also go into sharpen and apply that. I do recommend that you're kind of careful when you're sharpening a portrait simply because you don't want to over crisp somebody's face, right? So speaking of face, there's also face recovery. And I will admit, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It'll default to 100 and my results so far, I haven't really liked a whole lot. It seems to make some adjustments that I may not necessarily want on my portraits. But again, this is a beta. All the wrinkles are not ironed out and they will be I'm sure. Now here's an example of what I'm talking about. Now keep in mind that's at strength 100, which I don't recommend doing, but you can see when you really go far, that left-hand side, that is the original, and there it is now. So super smooth, all the details, so many things have been removed and reduced that I think I would probably do something like maybe a 15. I would start really small if you're gonna apply this to any of your portrait images. Here it is updated, and even at 15, it still seems softer. It's a little bit like skin smoothing uh, is what I'm seeing so far, but I've only run a few portraits through it so I haven't done a ton of stuff with it and again being in beta it's probably going to get refined point is if you go very high you're going to get really smooth skin and it could look fairly plastic like it did when I was at 100 so I recommend going pretty low and 15 actually seems a little bit high as well I'd probably go to 10 or 8 in this case bottom line is it's working great and it gives you the ability to customize how your image looks right between face recovery if you need it any noise removal any sharpening things like that I want to show you one more example photo this one is a landscape, and in fact, it's a long exposure shot on a tripod, low ISO, so there's really no noise to worry about. But if you take a look at this, you can see subject is detected, subject is out of focus. Hey, I didn't really know that, to be honest, so it needs to be kind of crisped up a little bit. And you'll also notice that with the autopilot settings, this time it's defaulted to sharpen as the adjustment to make versus noise removal, whereas noise removal was the default on the other two. So most of my images that I was sending here in the beginning they were all defaulting to noise removal. So I kind of thought, oh, it's always going to do noise removal first, which kind of makes sense, especially if you have raw files. You kind of want to get the noise out before you go edit. This one is saying, hey, you don't really have any noise, Jim. Don't worry about it. But it's blurry, Jim. And, you know, guess what? It's, it's a reasonably heavy camera on a reasonably heavy tripod sitting on wet sand for, you know, a minute and a half. It's actually no surprise that it's kind of out of focus. But you can see here the sharpening has helped quite a bit. I mean, that's much better looking. And again, this is kind of a lower quality JPEG image, so it'd probably look a little bit better if I had a RAW or TIFF file, but regardless, I think this sharpening has done a good job for me. So I wanted to point that out, and that's why I wanted to share this photo is the denoise is not always the default. It actually uses intelligence by taking that AI, examining the image, and deciding, hey, what do I need to do to this image to make it better? And in this case, it was sharpening. So overall, I'm pleased with the idea here, and the execution looks pretty solid. Again, in beta, so there's some things, you know, that could be refined and probably enhanced, but it's a great first step towards having a bit of a combined app. My personal hope is, Topaz will come in and take something like Studio and build a Topaz overall combined app because they have some powerful technology that frankly has just been sitting there untouched for a long time. Adjust AI, no updates in a long time. Studio, no updates in a long time. Their Mask AI product, no updates in a long time. But they've got some great stuff. I wish that they would do more stuff like this because for us as users, it's just much more convenient to have things in one place. Great first step. I'm really pleased with this idea and the execution looks really solid. Again, it's releasing soon. If you own the image quality bundle, you can download this trial or this beta and check it out. And once I have more news on the release date and the pricing and, and those sort of things, because I have a number of questions that I don't have answers to, I'll be sure to share that with you. But just wanted to walk through this because I'm getting some questions about it. I haven't covered that many Topaz apps in a while, but I love the idea here and I love the direction they're heading. So hats off to Topaz. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be back soon with more videos. You guys take care. And until then, my friends, take care and adios.